Well, first time doing a video like this. Well guys, we're gonna jump straight into it because uh, clicked on the video, you know what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna be talking about everything that's wrong with my rap right there. So we're gonna go and talk about this rap and the rap shop that I took it to and what they said to me when I told them about the damage on the wrap. So let's go ahead and start with the first issue, the hood. You guys see it on your screen right here. The hood was one of the things that when I first went into picking up the car, I looked at it and it was disgusting. I seen it and I instantly told him, I was like, so what about this? And uh, when I said that, it was that one little piece that was flickering up and then they miscut it. And what I was told by them, as soon as I told them, they said, you would have to buy more film and then they would charge me for wrap or for a labor to wrap it again. As soon as I heard that and I seen the cuts on this hood, I was just like, yeah, no, dude, I need to get my car back. So that's what I did. I just grabbed the car, um, said, thanks guys. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Um, I'll hit you guys up if I want to go do the wrap again. Or I never hit them up to go do it. I'm going to buy another shop that's going to fix the hood and they are known to do a really good job. The, uh, the shop that I did go to, they had already um, a pretty bad name. A couple of my friends told me that they got their car wrapped like a couple years ago by them and they did a really bad job. But uh, they are just, they said, you know, maybe they got better and uh, I couldn't back out of it. You know, most of you guys are probably saying, why didn't you just take the car back when they told you that? I didn't find out until later. So they told me a day late. I was there, the car's already in there. It was already getting wrapped. So it wasn't like I could just go in there and say, hey, give my car back because everything was taken apart. So anyways, let's, uh, that was the hood, the misaligned things on there and how you can literally see where they freehanded to cut it. And uh, they did not use knifeless tape. Um, honestly, it's just shit. It was just a really bad job. And then let's move back to the bumper. The bumper is the craziest part. I, I understand it's a tough bumper to wrap, but the way they did inlays on this bumper was crazy. Like right there when you seen on the turn signal, you can see how much layers they put of wrap. And the thing about it is that those inlays, you're supposed to put a knifeless tape there so it hides as much as possible. This, they did not. They just try to shove it in and try to get it done. And the craziest thing too, is that the guy that wrapped it, he told me this was the first thing they are gonna work on was the bumper. The bumper was gonna take them the longest time. And then uh, the more and more you dig into the bumper, you could see the side where they put the inlays at um, on the GT350 right there. Uh, the line right there is coming up. They kept saying that it was it's the wrap material, tech wrap, this kind of material doesn't stick well, uh, etc. But I know that's false because when I talked to the other wrap shop, they said they work with nothing but tech wrap and this film has given them no problem. And then when you look into it more, um, you can see right there, they didn't, they cut it wrong. Uh, they ripped it when they're putting it on the back on the, the bumper or the, the like little plastic things that go into the inserts. That right there, you can't blame on the wrap. That's, that's the installer. The installer cut short, they didn't know how to install it. So that was not the wrap, that was them. Again, a crap job. They never, they, they didn't say anything when I told them about the issue. They said buy more film and I have to pay for labor, which is the dumbest thing ever. Um, and the other thing that I do wanna say is when I took this car in to get wrapped, the people told me, already told me that the wrap was bad they had problems with the wrap before because they did one other car and they they kept having it the thing that i just didn't like about it is i kept asking them over and over and over and over until i left are you guys able to tackle or are you guys able to take on the task they said yeah we can get it done that's what they said now if you guys don't know my past you guys are new to the channel i used to do a lot of side jobs for cars i used to do a lot of friends cars a lot of clients cars just me working on them because i was mechanically inclined and uh, i knew a lot about cars when I did the job, I knew I could get it done and do it right. I never took on a job that I knew I could not do. So if a person came in with a diesel and it needed a new head gasket or something like that, I would not do it because I have never done it and I know I can't do it. So I would tell that person, no. They never told me no and they kept swearing up and down that they can do it, but the rap uh, is gonna give them issues. If they knew that it was gonna be this bad, they should have told me no. But anyways, I'll leave it that on there. So as you continue down the bumper, you could see there's just more and more stuff wrong with it. it, it, it the bumper is um, honestly the worst part. The bumper and the hood are the worst parts of the whole car. Uh, I, that's why I'm getting it done, redone. But uh, yeah, you could just see it. It's, it's 
disgusting. And then uh, now we're going to the door. So the door I instantly seen when I told him and then he yelled at his partner. He said, hey, bring the heat gun. He brought the heat gun, started trying to get the bubbles out. Uh, it, it went away, but then when I put it to the car or put, got back to my house, parked it for I think no, le no less than like two hours. I went outside and uh, the bubbles grew like that. So uh, I am getting that redone by the other shop. They said they're not going to charge me or anything. They're going to pull it back. They're going to heat it up, put it on, make sure it lays. If it doesn't lay, they'll use a primer glue and stuff like that to make sure it looks good. But they said, don't worry about it. They'll take care of it, which I'm very, very grateful. So now we move to the back bumper. The back bumper, another miscut um, and crap inlays. That miscut right there, you can see the paint still. Uh, that's because they cut it short. Again, I told them about it. The guy said he could fix it but I would have to buy more wrap and pay for labor. I kept getting fed up. This was like the third thing that I, I told him about and uh, he kept saying that to me. So I, I basically was just like, all right, dude, I need to go because you're pissing me off. You keep saying this, you're a shit rapper. You should not be wrapping cars. I don't give a damn who, what, what you are, how much years you've been wrapping. You're shit, you're, you're so bad at wrapping. So uh, yeah, those are the back bumpers with the misaligned slits and then um, the fenders. These are something me and my girlfriend seen when we, we drop off the car. So when we got at home, we started looking at the corners and you could see those corners. They did not take their time at all. They just, they just slid it and then just shoved it in. Didn't care if they stick there, it was done, moved on to the next panel. Right there, that shows it. It's just, that's God awful. Like I, I just, you know, if I was doing this to somebody's car, I, I would not allow that. And then same thing on the other door panel. I have a, there's a bubbles that are forming on that one. These ones aren't too big but there are bubbles forming on the door handle. And then I, then this is the message that they sent when I said uh, uh, to them, I said, all right, so here's all the parts I've seen after getting at home and into the sunlight. There's a lot of places that were not cut right and are showing a lot, of, a lot of what's underneath. Also, the door handles are starting to bubble more being out in the sun. See right there, again, if you knew it was gonna give you problems, and there's a spider. Right, he's dead. Anyways, if you knew that the wrap was gonna give you issues, you shouldn't have taken on the task. He said, since you dropped off the roll, if it bubbles up, the adhesive on the wrap is horrible and it's not due to the install installation error. So, brings me back to the other, the other parts. They wrap my wing and my door handles with different wrap. That's Hex's black uh, fine glitter um, wrap, right? Those are starting to peel. That's a different wrap. So what excuse do you have to that? That, that, that's a different wrap. So you're gonna say that that's, that's the wrap issue too? No, it's the install error. There's a lot of places on the wing that they did not finish wrapping all the way. They, it looks like they're rushing it and they're just half-assing when they got to certain parts. Anyways, but that's the, that's the whole message right there if you guys wanna read it. Um, if you want, you can pause to read the messages, but that is what they told me. That's the whole thing that's going on with the whole situation. I am getting the car fixed. I'm getting the hood fixed, the bumper fixed, and then those uh, bubbles that are fixing up. Uh, they are taking on the task. They said that, uh, they were telling me that a lot of unnecessary things that they were doing, um, they shouldn't have done on the wrap. I didn't make this video to make beef. I made this video because this is something that really irritated me. This was my first time ever bringing in a car or my car to somebody else. First time I, it ever left my hands to do work on the car. I have never ever taken this car to anybody. All the work has done by my hands and in my driveway. <laughs> so this was something new to me. And when I took it to them, uh, this is how it ended up. So I was like, uh, I should have just done it myself. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you stayed until the very end, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the engagement and the crazy, crazy, just overall drive the channel's give it, getting now and uh i love all of you guys if you could believe it you could achieve it like comment subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one see you later